What gender do you think you are? I'm a male. Maybe I think you're a woman. No, legally I'm a male. It says on my driver's license that I'm a male. What if I say I don't believe you? It doesn't matter. But what gender do you think I am? I would assume you're female. See, you're making assumptions. I identify as non-binary. What pronoun what? should I use? You should use they, them pronouns. If you don't, I would consider that disrespectful, and that's actually an act of to intentionally misgender someone. The, here we come to the issue, and this is why I'm out here. You just said that's an act of violence. So that means yes. it's an actionable offense. That means it's a crime. Trans women are the most, are, have the highest rate of murder in the LGBT community. So if you were to intentionally misgender a trans woman, that could put her at risk of murder. You understand that? I don't understand. I, I'm I think sorry, that I really understand. does show that you're privileged in the situation then. We have no idea how many pronouns there are. We can never know how many pronouns there are. And to not use a proper pronoun is an act of violence against them. Did you ask my pronouns before you sat down? No, I didn't ask your pronouns because Why? I haven't referred to you with pronouns. You didn't ask my pronouns, though. You just said you can ask. Yeah, you can ask. What are your pronouns? But you didn't ask. What are your pronouns? You just talked about me being privileged. You understand no one goes around asking pronouns before they speak with people. See, you lost me right there when you said that you're making assumptions. So it's okay for you to make assumptions and say that he's a woman, a bird, a tree, or whatever, because you don't believe him. But when he assumes that you're a woman, you get all defensive and now it's an act of violence. And that's when you lose me because there is nothing just or fair about that. It's like you saying society should accept us no matter what. The way we look, the way we think, and how we identify ourselves. And if we don't, we are bigots and tyrants. And there is nothing liberal about what I said right now, which you guys think that you stand for. And it shows that your IQ is questionable, just like this person that you're about to watch right here. So why would God equip the average woman to be smarter than men? Do you think it's just for homeschooling their children? Again, the claim that you made at first, which is that men and women have uh, bell curves, the men's bell curve being wider than the woman's, would not imply that the average woman is smarter than the average man. Oh, no, no. It would line them the up exactly. The curve itself right? yeah. it d implies or actually indicates that no, it would on just average... Be the extremes. No, right. no, no. Would... If you actually look at the curves at the top, it's women taller than the men's curve. The, 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 but the, the IQ of the curve would be on, on the x-axis, right? That's where you get the extremes. So yeah, I think So you're, are you you're... disputing that on average women are more intelligent yes. than men? I... <laughs> As would Larry Summers, as would the people who have studied this. Uh -huh. gotcha. I'm an eight-year military veteran. I'm a college student. Thank I'm you. a black woman. And I believe that white privilege fucking exists. You serve in the military. You've made good choices. You're getting rewarded for them. You're going to live in the American middle class. What privilege do I have that you don't have that is based on skin color, not on wealth or socioeconomic status? Name one thing that you can't do that I can do. Um, I don't know. I can't make a whole fucking dollar. Oh my god. There's so many different ways they sell you oppression and she has purchased all of them today. So right now we are on sexism, right? So she's saying that I can't make a full dollar. Yes, you can. What frustrates me is you served our country, which deserves to be applauded. And you have lived a life of a victor, and you have the gumption to tell me you're a victim without evidence. You were not able to cite one thing that you cannot do that I can do. So you're actually the reason why people like us can't do well, because they sold you our oppression and you bought it. Blacks were doing better it. under the gym. If color. you acknowledge the oppression of other people, we can heal from it. No, we but can't. But if you want no, to ignore can't. it, we, we won't can't. have anything happen. That's not how that's not how this works. Dialogue and acknowledging things doesn't make us suddenly rich. This is a prime example of logic and facts arguing with feelings and emotions. She couldn't back one thing that she said with a, with a fact or a statistic. And honestly, it says it all when they're having a discussion and suddenly they walk away. That shows that they don't want to hear the truth. They don't care for the truth. They just want to indoctrinate people with their propaganda. And they always hate for no reason. And this next clip is an example that explains it all. I just want to let you know that I hate you and every other man species on this world for the rest of my days and I blame you for my fortune. Okay, I'm let's I hate you except for my favorite band and my man. I just hate you in particular. Okay. And I okay. Speak. Okay. Uh let's break that down. Here's my question. What? If you hate me so much, yeah. why do you spend all of your free time in my class? Because my other teachers don't like me. Okay. So that makes me not the problem. I don't think you actually hate me. Oh, sorry. My God, mm -hmm. I hope the apple is radioactive. You hope the apple is radioactive? Yeah. At this point, me too. <laughs> when you were in college, did you ever want to drop out? Because you were that much of a failure. You just wanted to drop out. Because you know you can't do math. You know. Anything else? That's all of it? That's all the thoughts? Um, no. I feel 
like a fool that looks like he got dropped kicked as a baby, a fool out of a window with the arm notice of that fat little man. It reminds me of you. You know why? Why? Because his fat, disgusting hair reminds me of Stewie. And Stewie just could be you. If you were so grotesque and disgusting. Anything else? You're saying that you discovered that you're a woman. I'm asking you how you did. That's a very fair question. Okay, okay. How do you know that you're a woman? So first of all, listening to transgender people. No. Things like looking at yourself in the mirror and not recognizing yourself. Feeling alone, no. even when you're surrounded by guys. Why does that make you a woman? Because As opposed I... to just a, a man who doesn't get along with some other men, or a man who's depressed, or a man who doesn't feel at home totally in his body, which, by the way, is a pretty universal human experience. Everybody goes through it at one time or another. So in what way does that make you a woman? I know because they tell me. You need them to tell you what you are? Yes. If uh, most women voted and said they don't see you as a woman, would you say I'm not a woman anymore? He ended all of his arguments right there. You can't go around saying that you're a woman based on what people are telling you. That's just letting people think for you and not thinking for yourself. If you let other people make decisions for you all of the time. I'm sorry, but you're not mentally well. What about uh, folks who have wounds but uh, are not women? Uh, like trans people, gender queer folks. Why do you keep saying women when this issue affects more than women? Because there are two genders, male there and female. Are. I am I am not binary. I have a friend who is intersex mm -hmm. who is born uh, who has different chromosomes than you know you would expect somebody uh, physically to have because you know how many people in this room have had a chromosomal test? What? This issue affects more than women. It affects trans men. It affects gender queer folks. Women have wounds. I am not a woman, and I have a womb. You are a woman. I you know. Have a Man, sit your ass down. You see, you can't have a rational conversation with these people. I swear, bro, if the word Apple was offensive to them, they will stand up and start yelling and screaming just like this. If they don't like the way that you speak with them or you call them out on their delusion, they'll do anything in their power to cancel you. Or they might tell you you should educate yourself. Just like this next clip of Candace Owens debating a college student. Hi, um, I'm wondering, there are dozens of words for two-spirited people, people that would now be considered LGBTQ or trans people in the native languages. So I'd like to know how, as these people have existed for thousands of years before you were alive or anyone else in this room was alive, and before anyone even colonized America, mm -hmm. if trans people were around then, I'm just wondering why you think it is that trans people are only here now because the media is telling people these things well do you think it's weird that it i graduated with zero trans people do you think what, what do you think has contributed to the explosion of transgender people from the time that i was in high school i'll ask you a question back if this was just a natural thing and i don't know what you're talking about with two-spirit people is this like a native american tribe like high smoking and talking about your spirit I'm asking you seriously, because when I think of Native American tribes talking about their spirits, I know that they used to smoke a lot, they used to do drugs, they also were cannibals who used to eat people, so I don't know if we should be taking our cues from cannibals, but I mean, um, I th I think can you explain to me what two-spirit is in the history? There are people that would now be considered trans people, people that did not feel that they faced what, the What part, though? Gender. Native Americans? I'm asking you. Yes, I'm telling you that not only in one Native American tribe, but in multiple tribes, there were dozens of terms that referred to people okay. that would now be considered trans, and that was hundreds of years ago. So I'm just wondering why you think that people are only trans now because okay. the media is telling them to be. Well, I told you, because of the proliferation. So you can't just go from having 0% to suddenly 25% right, of I'm people. What I'm saying is that these people were around yeah. for thousands of years. Well, what you're saying is that some Native American tribes had people that would be considered trans today, that something that we can't trans. fact check because they're dead. It's right? historical knowledge. It's historical documented. knowledge that there were trans Native Americans? Yes. I, I really don't think that's historical knowledge, but here's, here's what I'll, I'll answer. Then. I don't think that there were, that there were, there were well, trans Native there Americans. Were. So if you oh, could educate oh. yourself a little more, you would know that Okay. I will educate myself. Choice. My choice! 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 My choice!
Yeah, the testosterone is high on this one, fellas. This is like another level of insanity that I've never seen in my life. Imagine with me getting triggered by someone who's holding a mic and a camera. I would not like to be near or talk to any person like this because they really have some mental health issues. And speaking of mental health, let me know in the comments if this person that you're about to watch next is also mentally ill. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations, and be sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching.